This is the Martini Mortgage Podcast with Kevin Martini. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to the Martini Mortgage Podcast. I am your host, Kevin Martini, and I am the branch manager and senior mortgage strategist with the Martini Mortgage Group at Benchmark Mortgage. And this is episode 17. 17. You know, uh, my grandmother always used to tell me, uh, Kevin, uh, money cannot buy you happiness. And if my grandmother was with us, I can say money cannot buy you happiness, Grandma, but it can buy you a big boat and you can sail right next to it. But seriously, she was 100% correct. Money does not make you happy. However, freedom can make you happy. I believe that home ownership provides that freedom. So you may ask yourself, why do I do what I do? Well, for me, the answer is so very, very simple. I believe that home ownership is the path to wealth. I also believe that every family should feel confident when securing a mortgage to buy a home. Now, I feel there is no substitution for education, and I feel it's my duty, my obligation, and my responsibility to help families create wealth with real estate. One way I do this is vis-a-vis the Martini Mortgage Podcast. As a primer, you need to know that there is bad in everything we do good, and there is good in everything we do bad. You see, bad things happen. You need to know that bad things happen to good people. And this is what we'll be talking about in episode 17, 17 of the Martin 17, Mortgage Podcast. 17, 17. This episode is going to be about the boomerang gang, gang, gang buyer. In the U.S., there was a housing crisis followed by what I call the mortgage renaissance. And today, we are in a period of expansion. This period of expansion, according to Investopedia, started in the summer of 2009. Now, the last housing crisis, there was many reasons, um, and we were in a recession. However, it's important to know a recession does not mean housing crisis. Right now, there has to be millions of boomerang buyers since 2018 marks more than seven years since the peak of the housing crisis. You see, seven years is a magical number since most foreclosures either fall off one's credit report or maybe better said, the um, seven year mark opens a window for someone who had a past foreclosure. It is suggested by the National Center for Policy Analysis that 10 million Americans faced a foreclosure or a short sale during the housing crisis. What is a boomerang buyer? I define a boomerang buyer as one that had a negative credit event that was associated with a mortgage. For example, Uh, They may have had a short sale or a foreclosure or they may have had a bankruptcy and now is the time bar has passed. This negative information has passed from their credit report and the path is clear for them to secure a mortgage once again. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, the Department of Veteran Affairs and the Federal Housing Authority, also known as the FHA, all put waiting periods on a person that had a negative credit event such as a foreclosure, bankruptcy, or short sale. Now, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac offer conventional loans or what some people call conforming loans. You see, the term conforming loans came about because these loans conform to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac guidelines. It's pretty much in all 100 counties of North Carolina the conforming limit is 453100 in 2018. With Fannie Mae and with Freddie Mac, the waiting periods after a foreclosure is seven years. Now, both Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have less stringent waiting periods if the foreclosure was caused by a extenuating circumstance. 
If there's an extenuating circumstance, then the waiting period is, wait for it, three years with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Now, let me share um, an example of an extenuating circumstance with a family that I helped earlier this year. My client uh, lost um, a very good job abruptly and he could no longer make the payments on his mortgage and his home went into foreclosure four years ago. Since this was an isolated event, this was an extenuating circumstance. So they became eligible for a new home loan with the Martini Mortgage Group at Benchmark Mortgage. Now, there was some work required to document this negative credit event, and I needed to connect the loss of employment to the foreclosure. Now, my crew and I are not afraid of a little work, and we know that success only comes before work in the dictionary. This family is in a home today and they are no longer renting without having to wait an additional three years for the official seven year rule. In fact, if they would have reached out to me just a little bit earlier, they could have been in that home 12 months earlier. As I've said earlier, bad things happen to good people. Life happens. Many people, in my opinion, overestimate the waiting period that they can buy again. Some folks believe or they think they believe they can never buy again after a negative credit event, and that is just not the case. We all were not born perfect, and we do not live in a perfect world. Things happen. Sometimes things happen and we have absolutely no control over it. It is what it is. What is happening now or what has happened does not define you. I help families move through it and I help families create wealth with real estate. I do not care about the past, nor should you. Together, we should focus on what's ahead. As I mentioned earlier, there's no substitute for education. And for that reason, if you went through a foreclosure, you need to know there is a path to becoming a homeowner again, and I can help you with that. Let us connect. We really do not need to talk about what happened or why it happened. What we need to talk about is the path back to home ownership. Because again, I believe it is easier to make a million dollars in real estate than it is at your job. Now, foreclosure is not the only negative credit event. There's also a short sale or a bankruptcy. For those that do not know, a short sale is when one sells a house less than the balance on the mortgage. In a short sale, the mortgage company must agree to the sale. One must wait four years, 48 months after a short sale to secure a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac mortgage. Now, there are several types of bankruptcies. There's a chapter seven and there's a chapter 13. With a chapter seven bankruptcy, there is a four year waiting period after discharge, not petition date, discharge. With a chapter 13 bankruptcy, there is a two year waiting period from discharge date to a four year from dismissal date. Know that discharge date should not be confused with the date that the bankruptcy was filed. Let me summarize real quick the waiting periods uh, for a conventional or a conforming loan. The waiting periods after a foreclosure is seven years. The waiting period after a short sale is four years. And the waiting period after a bankruptcy depends on whether it is a chapter seven or a chapter 13. With the Chapter 7 bankruptcy, the waiting period is four years. And with a Chapter 13, it depends if the bankruptcy was dismissed or discharged. But its waiting period after discharge, Chapter 13, is two years. And for Chapter 13 dismissed, the waiting period is four years. Now, what about Federal Housing Administration or what is commonly known as the FHA loan? What about a VA home loan? Before I dig into them, Check this out. The Martini Mortgage Group makes real estate dreams a reality with trusted advice in a stress-free environment with great rates and on-time closings while providing a world-class experience. 
If you or someone you know has questions about the current mortgage rates or the current mortgage programs, please reach out to the Martini Mortgage Group at 919-238-4934. FHA loans are very powerful and homeowners have been using them since 1934. The FHA loan offers a low down payment with low closing costs, and I believe it provides an easy credit qualifying path. In addition, FHA loans are most forgiving of mortgage options after a foreclosure or a short sale. The waiting period is 36 months for both of these major credit events. Now, if you had a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, then the waiting period with an FHA is only two years after discharge. Now, an FHA loan, you may be considered for approval if you are in a Chapter 13 bankruptcy. Now, some restrictions will apply to include written approval from the trustee uh, or the court trustee. In fact, Logan Martini, one of the loan officers of the Martini Mortgage Group, just helped the family that was in a Chapter 13 bankruptcy. We did get the court trustee's approval and those people are in a home. So it's not like a leprechaun riding on a unicorn. These are real programs that we offer to help people. It's important to point out that the conventional loan or an FHA loan or any home loan product even after the waiting period, you still need to qualify financially and have established a credit history of good and with no negative credit events since the major disturbance. For more information on if you qualify or what you need to do to qualify, reach out to the Martini Mortgage Group at Benchmark Mortgage. If for some reason I am not available, my fellow mortgage strategist Logan Martini will be able to help. Simply give us a call at 919-238-4934. I am very proud that I have the privilege to offer the VA Home Loan. The VA Home Loan helps service members, veterans, and eligible surviving spouses. Again, things happen, and for these patriots, it may happen while they're on the other side of the world. Service members, veterans, and surviving spouses can bounce back faster after a bankruptcy, after a foreclosure, or a short sale. With a foreclosure or a short sale, you are looking at a minimum two-year waiting period before you're eligible for a VA home loan. Now, if a home is lost to a foreclosure or a short sale with a VA home loan, then a new VA loan may have a reduced VA entitlement. This may limit how much you can borrow without making a down payment. With the Chapter 7 bankruptcy, you are looking at 24-month period before you can secure another VA home loan. After a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, you may be eligible in just 12 months from the filing date. If you or your family experienced a negative credit event in the past, it is what it is. The past is history. Today is a gift, and what we do today can make tomorrow less of a mystery. You have options. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and it's not a train coming at you. It's your porch light of your brand new home. I invite you to reach out to me or to Logan Martini for a confidential conversation about your unique situation so we can clear the path together to get you in a home sooner than later. Today, you may be qualified as a boomerang buyer and the Martini Mortgage Group at Benchmark Mortgage will make your homeownership dreams a reality. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to the Martini Mortgage Podcast, Episode 17. I truly hope that you found this information helpful. And I want you to remember, the past does not define you. And no, it does not matter how big your home is. It's how happy your home is. Our family is your family lender. Thanks for listening to the Martini Mortgage Podcast with mortgage strategist, Kevin Martini. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Martini Group. 
and check out our website at martinimortgagegroup.com. Tune in next week for another episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast. The information contained in this podcast presentation is for general product information purposes only. Arclatex Financial Services, LLC, NMLS number 2143, doing business as Benchmark Mortgage, makes no representations or warranties of any kind expressed or implied about the completeness, reliability, suitability, or availability with the respect to the information, products, or services. All loans subject to borrower qualifying. Other restrictions may apply. Branch Manager Kevin Martini, NMLS number 143962. Branch located at 5650 Six Forks Road, Suite 101, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27609. Contact the branch by calling 919-238-4934. Equal housing opportunity.